I'm gonna show you how I source my protein. 150 to 200 grams per day. I'm actually at about 170, but I'm gonna give you the breakdown of what you should be doing. And because I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with getting protein at a cheap price. So stay here with me, hit that like button, subscribe today in that corner, wherever it's at. I appreciate you, thank you very much. But I'm gonna save you some money today and save you some time. And the two biggest things that I utilize in, in my diet to put meals together to meet protein intake every day, and the fat that comes along for the ride, but focusing on protein here, is ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey. Ground, notice the ground. Now, if I eat steak typically or eat something that's made and takes a long time, and you want I just go out to dinner. Yeah, and I mean, gonna spend the money, do it that way. I mean, I, I do buy other buy steaks to make, but having ground, for instance, I'm gonna break some numbers down. Like this is my shopping haul for today. I got ground beef, grass-fed, right, organic for five nineteen a pound, which it makes it six. It's eighty gram, eighty two grams of protein in there total in that one pound, and I got that makes it six point three cents per pound, which is pretty damn good, really good. Okay, really good because it's bang for the buck, bioavailability. The absorption rate is, is fantastic because it's one of the best sources you can get when it comes to protein, creatine, all of it, okay? Muscle retention, muscle group for muscle growth, fat loss, amino acid profile, all of it's here, okay? So ground chicken, $5.99 a pound, 88 grams per pound, per, per, per that one pound. So that broke down to just under, just under seven. So I just rounded it up to seven cents. Um, and here the, and here's where it gets sort of interesting is where I got Greek yogurt organic. I couldn't find it today. Normally I find it for five bucks or I go to Costco and it's better because you get six servings. I only got five servings for, for this. So it's 80 grams and at Costco would be 120 grams for the same price. And it's a lot, it's a lot cheaper. So I'm going to be realistic. Let's say you only find it for two, uh, for, for this and I found it on sale for six nineteen, and that made it to seven grams. So it's needing ground beef wins so far, right? For me, it could be higher than that, but I just find it on sale because I'm in this community of people that are psychotic like I am when it comes to pennies. If you look at this and protein, you're not going to get this profile of protein out there at fast food. You're just not. I mean, it's going to cost you, it's going to cost you $20, $25 a day versus five to get 80 grams of protein. I mean, I'm just being realistic. I mean, it could be less than that, but to get all the protein, you're gonna spend a lot more than that, for sure. You're not gonna get it for six grams. I don't care if fast food, fast casual, doesn't matter. Okay, nothing's ever going to outweigh making protein and having it for yourself, okay? And here we go. I couldn't find cottage cheese, but it's normally Normally, it's the same thing, okay? I normally find it for $4.99 a pound, $4.99 a, 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 for, a ser, um, for, for servings, and it normally breaks down to 6.2 cents because it's got 20, 19 grams, or for, it, it's very high in protein. So break, going a little bit deeper, and this is one of the biggest surprises you're ever going to find in Here's what will surprise you. Supplementing protein. This is what I found. Right. I got Muscle Feast. I don't get paid by them. Okay, I've represented them, uh, meaning in a couple other videos, but I don't get paid. So this here is for gram. I got this for $48. It's got 1,924 grams of protein. Every scoop is 24 grams. That breaks down to 2.4 cents per gram. And it's so pure, so clean, isolate you can't beat it and the unnatural version of this has 21.5 grams which makes it even more ridiculous for the same price and my, my point here is I take two protein shakes typically every day with me normally they're 30 to 40 grams per protein shake and I eat them with my snack okay my protein snack is typically some Greek yogurt cottage cheese something of that nature a side of beef side like a, a serving of like one serving of beef with this i normally drink my protein shakes with my meals 
that's a whole other video we'll get into some other time but getting to the point to where all of this meets for the it, it just the bang for the buck is completely ridiculous not to do your own protein yourself because a combination of all of this for me including the protein i'm eating a, 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 between 170 and 200 grams of protein per month at less than 250 dollars per month less and that's me going out a couple of times really like going not going going out but going out to on going on the, on those fast runs and the big thing that keeps me from overspending is not buying protein snacks or bars once in a while i'm going to bring it out i'll i'll get a quest bar i don't buy the box you know why i don't buy the box why don't you buy the box you know why i don't buy the box because i'll eat the whole damn box before i get home typically so i stay away from that <laughs> i buy one at a time i found this for a dollar 99 at 16 grams per 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 bar so this was a dollar 99 right divide this you get 16 grams right this is 12.45 12.4 cents per gram and it's not even still I, and, but that's on sale 2.99 is what they normally are and 8.99 a box at the big box stores even that is where you go instead of eating that just go to I'm not going to say this loosely. Like, I'll go to Chick-fil-A and get two chicken sandwiches, one with a bun, one without a bun, no cheese, grilled, by the way, double lettuce, double tomato, double pickle, call it a wrap. Meaning at that that's 65 grams of protein, and typically it's right around $11. I'll do that before I buy a box of that. Just get the whole food source. And it's not the best of foods, but do I'll do that before that. Another honorable mention today, I got Enlightened Ice Cream. Again, I know that I'm putting products in here, but I'm not getting paid by anybody, I promise. I'm just finding this stuff on sale. I found this for $4. I mean, where are you going to get Enlightened for $4, right? This, this whole pint, $5.50. And this whole pint has here has a total of 14 grams of protein. He has high in fat. But this is typically one of my go-tos if I find it. Um and it's got zero sugar at it. It's more of a keto thing than when I was on keto. I'd rather eat this ice cream. You can get Halo ice cream too that has even a higher amount. It has, I think it has 18 or 19 grams per the pint. This has 15. But for this, for the, 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 the texture and everything, mimics ice cream to the point. That's not what this is about. Save this money. Get, this pro, get your protein right because you can for these prices. If you want to know some prices, you know some prices somewhere else that are cheap comment please and please subscribe i know i've asked you so many times and if you're new i appreciate you i do but comment you know just don't sit here and not comment and tell me something that i'm gonna <laughs> be like Rrr, or not hit the like button much 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 appreciation guys and i'll talk to you soon later